We got this set yesterday for 65 bucks for both and it's in pretty good shape. It's missing almost all of the metal um, accents at the end of the handles. Just one is left, so we're just gonna take it off and go without those. This is, the drawer is taped here. Um, not sure if it was falling apart in some, oh yes, there it is. It is broken here. So we're gonna have to fix that. And overall, it's in pretty good condition. There is a little crack here. We'll try to fix that too. The drawers work well. Some of them, for some reason, don't go all the way. They don't close all the way, so we will have to look into that. Yeah, um, it looks like there is no clear coat. Like either someone refinished it or I don't know why there is no clear coat. But that's good because it's gonna help us with sanding. It's gonna be, I hope the sanding is gonna be easier because um, the plan we have for it is what was our original plan for the mid-century tall dresser that we did two videos ago. Uh, Mike is gonna put the link somewhere here so you can have a look if you, if you haven't seen. And we're gonna sand everything and paint wash everything. So um, it's gonna be a lot of sanding, but I'm hoping uh, the fact that there is no clear coat is gonna make it easier on us. And I hope it's gonna look really nice at the end. And yeah, we're gonna just, you know, disassemble everything we can. These come off. We already know that, you know, the legs are a part of this structure, so they will not come off. And yeah, we're gonna get sanding. It's gonna be a lot of sanding, but hopefully it's gonna be worth it. So let's go. Oh, and also it is maple. Looks like it's from the 50s, but the person um, who, the person that we got them from said that 70s or 60s, I think, which I'm not sure. It looks nice, that's all I know. <laughs> So I started taking the handles off and another one broke on my corner. Seems like uh, loads of them have this issue, so we're going to have to fix that. So this one is falling apart too. I'm gonna have to glue it, it's on both sides. Which is kind of funny because last time we had maple furniture, it was the desk that we turned into nightstands. We had this issue too, that was basically falling apart. So I'm starting to think <laughs> that maple <laughs> just degrades glue much quicker. And we also realized it was stripped down and looks like the paint it had on was blue. update we've been sanding for over just over four hours now on two sanders all the drawers are done most of the bodies are done Aga is just finishing the corners by hand because we couldn't we couldn't get in with a sander <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it wasn't fun but we are almost there okay this is the next day I just wiped all the drawer fronts and the bodies that are in the garage uh, the dressers that are in the garage and now I'm um, cleaning up the insides of the drawers I've got a couple left almost ready to do the paint wash. It's gonna be a lot of paint washing. So we'll see How I manage that <laughs> I'm just worried about the organi organization because it's a lot of drawers two big dressers. We'll see fingers crossed Uh, 
I just finished applying the paint wash and the color didn't change much maybe it's a little bit like more gray it's got gray undertone but what it's definitely gonna help with the paint wash is when we apply clear coat the wood is not gonna turn yellow or orange which no one wants it <laughs> no one likes it these days so the color didn't change much but the paint was gonna help us a lot so now we wait until it dries and we can apply clear coat guys we hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe to our channel i got pliers to the face he wasn't beat up he beat up himself <laughs> <laughs> this set turned out really really nice it didn't turn as dark as i would like it to but i still really like it it's still really like rustic cool looking and we wanted to do something like this for a long time but there was always some issue we found with the piece that we wanted to do it on so we had to change plans and this one was perfect because apparently one family had it for a long time or since they bought it and they had it um, original finish then they painted it blue they stripped it down and stained it without applying clear coat and because there was no clear coat it was so much easier to sand it still took a while but we were able to do all of it with 220 grit paper so this helped us a lot and um, yeah we were finally able to do what we wanted for a long time and i'm really happy with the outcome it took us about six hours to finish both dresses which is actually pretty quick yeah okay. because it was a lot of sanding but then there wasn't a lot of painting it was just you know just paint wash and quick clear coat and that's all so that was really fast and it was a lot of sanding because like we said it was pretty much four hours both of us you know to get it stripped down and then we couldn't do everything uh, using the sanders because some corners you just couldn't reach so we had to finish by hand yeah. but we did it it's here <laughs> so yeah it took us around six hours um, we bought it for 65 dollars both of them and the materials were around 20 bucks i would say it was just yeah it was a lot of sanding papers a lot of sanding discs um just a little bit of paint and some clear coat and that's pretty much all so not bad and they were in pretty good condition we patched up a few um cracks here and there which i don't think we filmed but we filled it filled them up with wood filler and we there was one weird nail sticking out on the side this is how he hurt <laughs> that's how i hurt my eye <laughs> <laughs> with the pliers yeah and um, the drawers were misplaced. They, some of them didn't close properly. We just, you know, found the right, found, found the right, right spot for for all of them, and everything seems to be good. So that's nice. And we'll be posting them on marketplace for around six hundred and fifty dollars, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if someone will be interested in all wood look. Interested? Very curious. <laughs> it is a hundred percent maple, so it's a solid piece of furniture, and it's gonna last longer than the family long, had it yeah. <laughs> maybe not as long i don't know actually i don't think it, i mean if you don't abuse it you don't anything strange with it it's gonna last for ages mm, yeah the worst thing that can happen is something that already did, kind of did happen is um, when glue gets salted it, it's not as strong as anyone so when you twist it, it it tends to give up but we replaced all the ones that cracked so it mm. should be good so yeah that's it for today guys thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye, bye. Thank you.